the United Nations entity for women's empowerment has moved to make Port Mosby safe for women. Tall, but yes, it can be done. With the call sign, Sun Up One Time Campaign, more than 20,000 signatures have been collected, each with the pledge to stand up against violence towards women. Gregory Avira reports. Godwit Street in Gordon, Port Mosby, was an ocean of orange. City residents, comprising of students, youths and the general public, joined the United Nations entity for the equality of women on its citywide campaign. The Sun Up One Time campaign aimed at making our city safe for women and girls. We are working because we want to make Port Mosby a better environment for women and girls. We are working because our sisters and our mothers help support them because of violence and abuse of children inside PNG. That's why we are working. I promise to, to make Port Mosby a safe city by um, making awareness, putting an end to violence against women. The group started off their walk from the Ward Street Primary School, their destination, the National Parliament House. Their mission, to present pledges signed by the public in support of bringing an end to violence against women and girls in the city. Leading up to the walk, UN women visited marketplaces and public areas to spread the message and collect pledges from the public. Orange palms were handed out to the public for individuals to sign and make a stance against this issue. A target of 20,000 signatures was set, a target which was well achieved by the campaign. Contained on a banner were all the signed pledges, which the group brought up to be presented to the country's leaders. The National Capital District Commission has taken a serious approach in supporting this campaign. And city governor and a vocal advocate for an end to violence against women, Powis Pakop, says this campaign must be taken seriously to ensure a better future for the country's women folk. The only way in which we're going to secure a better future full of opportunities, full of jobs, full of income, full of the potential that you can have is to have peace in our city, to eliminate violence to eliminate fear, to get rid of crime, to reduce it or ideally get rid of it. That's the only way in which we are going to get a secure, better future. Papua New Guinea has a high rate of violence against women, levels at which are often seen during wars and conflicts. While the issue is commonly known, addressing it has been quite a challenge. On end to accept the pledges on behalf of the Prime Minister, was Minister for National Planning and Monitoring Charles Abel. Minister Abel says addressing this issue will require changing mindsets and norms that have been in existence for many years. And sometimes the culture says that it is okay to do that. Well, no, actually, it is not right, and it is not, it is not a part of our religion, and it is, it is not who we are, Papua New Guineans. Actually, our culture tells us that as leaders, as heads of household or the village, we act in the interest of the family and the community. We make decisions for the benefit of those we are responsible for. We have power and authority, and therefore we must exercise it with care. You are abusing your authority, and you lose the right to be a leader. Our Christian religion teaches us love and empathy or understanding. At the forefront of the campaign were the city's youths. Amongst them was singing icon and the UN's youth champion, Jay Liasi, commonly known by his stage name, Pota Jay. He says while many have made the pledge, keeping that promise will be a true indication of the campaign's true purpose. Make the promise when you go home, you go to the hospital, you go to Make sure that you hold on to that promise. Sign up on time. All get the meri. Lo ples lo yupla. And 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 make sure that they know how important they are. And if you see someone being hurt, harassed, if you see a woman in danger, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to help out, because that all our futures depend on what we do individually. 
All right, and it matters what you do. It matters, it's important. What you choose to say, how you act towards each other, especially the men and the boys. You know, it's up to us to make our women feel empowered and uh, to really let them know that we're here to protect them. It's a safe city because of us. The presentation of the pledges made by the public to the government is a show of the growing support for an end to this issue. But the government alone cannot achieve this objective. A collective approach by all is needed. And it starts right at home, the community and respective institutions. It's through leadership. Now, in the schools, you can be leaders too and not fight. And if you're fighting, you're not a leader. You're just a bully. So next time there's a fight, next time you look at someone bashing someone else, say, you're not a leader, you're just a bully. How can you be a leader and fight a girl? Come on, one of us, you got to fight a Mary, not picking any Mary. One of us, you got to welcome this bullet kind something inside law city below also in Port Mosby. With the nation's capital taking on this campaign, UN women hopes other provinces will follow suit. Gregory Avera, ending the program. Thank you for your company. Join us again tomorrow, same time, for a new edition. I'm John Higgins. Good night.